हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर संजय हेलो डॉक्टर संगीता सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग तो टूडे वी हैव द मैजिक मिरर सर इस्टरडे आई कूडंट एबल टू अटेंड द सेशन बट आई हैव इंप्लीमेंटेड सर ओ ग्रेट एंड व्हाट इज योर शेयरिंग सर फ्रॉम माय मिस्टेक्स सी आई हैव डन सो मेनी मिस्टेक्स ओके बट व्हेन recent uh, one which i have rectified is in my clinic treatment planning where i have perforated uh, the tooth so the perforation i have just placed the cotton and i have sent the patient back so next 5 days after birth i have uh, made them the seal so i have bought a material which is an mta which uh, seals i have read about that like if some uh, uh mischief happens like how we can rectify that so i just bought that material it is a bioceramic material which has sealed that uh, crown part and i have finished that work sir wonderful and in the process you will learn all about the, these these mel ceramic yes. materials and yes. i have read that and what are the complications can happen and also have uh, read that what are the um, problems uh, while doing the procedure so all the list of problems i have read that and how we can rectify that so entire book <laughs> that one chapter only <laughs> i have completed so wonderful so welcome dr nita thank you welcome ma'am today we have got the magic mirror which we will be using such mirror i mean it uh, reflects positivity in our life and it is a very good exercise and behind it it is a huge story the amount of work we behind this mirror exercise which has already been done massive amount of work so dr rajshri good morning good morning sir good morning any experiences to share uh since last two days uh, i've uh, experienced that uh, like whatever whenever uh, always this uh, margin mind says like yes yeah uh, whatever i'm thinking now uh, it happens yes it's, it's like that so i'm actually surprised uh, to see it but uh, okay we'll that's such so like magic that. magic is working yes sir yes uh, uh welcome dr sanjay uh, shakya uh would you introduce yourself sir dr 
Dr. Sanjay Shakya happens to be from Amravati. I think he's unable to unmute. And uh, he is a uh, senior, quite old magic book practitioner in his work. Anyway, let's start. So here, uh, the author has shown a huge mirror normally we, uh, in which which is there in our homes. And when we see in the mirror, we see ourselves, it is shining. So whatever, when we look into the mirror, we, we look, we describe ourselves. Uh, we Our own inner child, is there. So this is how we, uh, this, uh, the mirror reflects ourselves. And when we look at that man, what we see there. The appearance of things changes according to the emotions and thus we see magic and beauty in them, while the magic and beauty are really in ourselves. Khalil Gibran. 20th century poet and artist. You can spend the rest of your life running around trying to beat the outside world into the shape you want, chasing one problem after another trying to fix them, complaining about situations or other people, and never succeed in living your life to the fullest and realizing all of your dreams. But when you make the magic of gratitude your way of life, Everything in the world around you magically changes, just like that. Your world magically changes because you changed, so what you are attracting changed too. From the inspirational teachings of Gandhi, we learn that by changing the person in the mirror, our whole world changes too. If you have followed the 26 magical practices to this point, you have changed. And even though it's sometimes hard to see the changes in yourself, you will have felt the change in your happiness, and you will have seen the change of improved circumstances in your life and the magical changes in the world around you. You have practiced the magical power of gratitude for your family and friends, for your work, money and health, for your dreams, and even for the people you come across each day. But the person who deserves your gratitude more than anyone else is you. When you are grateful to be the person in the mirror, feelings of dissatisfaction, discontentment, disappointment, or I'm not good enough completely disappear. And with them, every dissatisfying, discontenting, and disappointing circumstance in your life magically disappears too. Negative feelings about yourself cause the greatest damage to your life because they are more powerful than any feelings you have about anything or anyone else. Wherever you go and whatever you do, you take those negative feelings with you in every moment and those feelings taint everything you touch and they act as a magnet attracting more dissatisfaction, discontentment and disappointment with everything you do. When you are grateful to be you, you will only attract circumstances that make you feel even better about yourself. You have to be rich with good feelings about yourself to bring the riches of life to you. Gratitude for yourself enriches you. Whoever has gratitude for themselves will be given more and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have gratitude for themselves, even what they have will be taken from them. To do the magic mirror practice, go to a mirror right now, look directly at the person in the mirror, and out loud say the magic words, thank you, with all your heart. Mean it more than you ever have before. Say thank you for being you. Say thank you for everything that you are. Say thank you with at least the same amount of feeling you've used for everything and everyone else. Be grateful for you, just as you are. Continue with the magic mirror practice 
by being grateful to that beautiful person in the mirror for the rest of the day today and say the magic words thank you every time you look at yourself in a mirror. If you're not in a position to say the magic words out loud at any particular time, then you can say them in your mind. And if you're really brave, you can look in the magic mirror and say three things about yourself that you're grateful for. If for any reason So basically you have to take a mirror and uh, just look into it and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Even in and in your over the mirror in your kitchen or a mirror in your bathroom, you can apply uh, the word uh, I love you or uh, something to uh, and all the time in the mirror, say I love you. Or you can say, you will say it in your mobile camera if nothing else is there. Or there are small uh, mirrors also available which can be kept in a purse. So you whenever you are moving in somewhere, you have some free time, just say to yourself, I love you. And love the person who, whom you see in the mirror. And I use this mirror, which is also used for the uh, shaving purpose, and it has got a magnifying glass. So my image comes very large. And uh, it is a really good experience. You do it for 21 days, and you will see the, the I mean, a real magical uh, happening in your life. say three things about yourself that you're grateful for. If for any reason in the future you are not being kind to yourself, you will know to give to the one person who deserves your gratitude more than anyone else, the person in the mirror. When you're grateful, you don't blame yourself when you make a mistake. When you're grateful, you don't criticize yourself when you're not perfect. When you're grateful for being you, you are happy and you will become a magnet to happy people, happy situations and magical circumstances which will surround you wherever you go and in whatever you do. When you can see the magic in that person in the mirror, your whole world will change. So try this practice and you will see in a few days, you're, you will start, I mean, ideally the first person you should love is yourself, but we don't. We keep on uh, moving negative sentences about ourselves. And through this practice, this is a well-known practice. Recap of the Magic Mirror Practice. Each time you look at yourself in a mirror today, say thank you and mean it more than you ever have before. If you're really brave, while looking in the mirror, say three things you're grateful for about yourself. And remember to count your blessings in the morning and to do your Magic Rock Practice tonight. Say three things about yourself. Now this uh, this magic work. It is a very there's a book by Louis Hay, and uh, it is. Uh,
and I am sharing. No, I've shared a book named Mirror Work. It's a book by Louis Hay. And uh, this is uh, elaborates the mirror work in detail. And So this book has got 21 days to heal your life. And just like uh, we have this uh, magic book, this book also has 21 days and uh, day one, day two, day three uh, and a very good book. In fact, uh, with the Sarika Chaparwal, uh, we did this session also. And this book was, uh, I mean, we studied each and every day of this book. And uh, in the process, then we created another workbook uh, like we did for this and uh, this is another book which I have created. This is in Hindi in which there is a recording on every page. And there is a there are exercises, daily exercises to be done. I will share this in the WhatsApp group also. And quite elaborate 21 day exercise. A lot of videos on this are also available. So uh, the, this this mirror it reflects positivity into our life. It makes us uh, a very important tool. So for the medical professionals, reflecting positivity, uh, day 27 of magic by Rhonda Barn for MBPS students, uh, the magic mirror emphasizes the role of our perceptions and thoughts in shaping our experiences. This article explores the essence of day 27, 
and how MBBS students and health professionals in India can utilize the magic mirror to enhance their medical journeys. Day 27 underscores that our percep perception of the world is like a mirror reflecting us back to us what we focus on. By choosing to see the positive and expressing gratitude, we can shape our experiences and interactions. Reflecting positivity in life care, in patient care, MBBS students can and health professionals can use the magic mirror to reflect positivity in patient care and by focusing on positive aspects of patients' conditions and expressing gratitude for opportunity to help. They create a healing environment. Shaping personal development, professionals can apply the concept to personal growth by using magic mirror to see their progress. Expressing gratitude for their own skills and knowledge they foster confidence and motivation to learn more. The concept can be extended to interactions with colleagues by using the magic mirror. They see the strengths and contributions of co-workers expressing gratitude for teamwork. They promote positive work environment. Health professionals can use the magic mirror to reframe challenges by expressing gratitudes for lessons in Adversity, they transform difficulties into opportunities for growth. Reflecting positivity in patient care, doctor sees a patient's progress in small improvements rather than focusing on setbacks. By using the magic mirror to appreciate the positive changes and expressing gratitude for healing, they contribute to patient's well-being. An MBBS student reflects on their journey and acknowledges their growth by using the magic mirror to see their development and expressing gratitude for learning, they boost their self-confidence and enthusiasm for medicine. Positive changes for colleagues. A nurse focuses on the strengths of their colleagues and appreciates their teamwork. By using the magic mirror, to reflect back gratitude for collective effort, they foster a harmonious and cooperative atmosphere. And a healthcare professional faces a challenging case that didn't go as planned. They use the magic mirror to see the mirror uh, lessons learned, express gratitude for growth opportunities, and turn setbacks into stepping stones. Day 27 of Magic Book introduces the concept of the magic mirror, emphasizing our ability to shape experiences through positive perception and gratitude. MBBS students and health professionals in India can apply these principles by reflecting positivity in patient care, personal development, interactions with patients, with colleagues, and reframing challenges challenges. By utilizing the magic mirror, they transform their medical journeys into ones rich with growth, gratitude, and a positive impact on the field of healthcare. So this mirror you have to organize and then you have to, I mean, it, I have a two-sided mirror, and but even in a small mirror, or it can be used and you have to see yourself in the mirror and you have to uh, say I love you three times and you have to uh, see yourself in a positive manner and also express yourself in uh, all the positive ways. Say thank you to yourself. Thank you for the person you are and uh, you will see in 21 days a new person will emerge who is more confident who is more positive and who is ready to make his mark in the world as his creator made him we are all very very unique and existence created it in its plan uh, as a very uh, unique individual and the 
existence plan will not be implemented properly if uh, without us. So as we move in this transformation from Kalyug to Satyug, uh, we are, each one of us is needed. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we thank uh, the existence for introducing us to this magic book. We thank our mentors. We thank Dr. Sarika, Dr. Manish Sethi, and also uh, the um, Poet for Life people, and also Rhonda Byron, Louise Hay, who have contributed uh, to this life. We thank for being alive. We thank the air. We thank the water. We thank the food which we, we got. We thank for, for the, all the money which has been given to us, provided to us for all the activities we have done. We thank the, for the medicine. We, we thank for the innovation. We thank the, for the new uh, CBME curriculum. We thank the LMC uh, for working, for getting the uh, WFME uh, recognition which will bring another change. So we are living in dynamic times. Welcome, Dr. Meda. Welcome, ma'am. Thank, Thank you for joining Thank Dr. Meda. Sorry, I was a little late in joining. Yes, we move, meet every day at 7 a.m. And yeah. uh, today is the 27th day. Mm -hmm. And uh, on first, we will be starting the next batch. This was the first batch, which was a uh, tribe, I mean, in which we learned, we read the whole book, and uh, we had some excellent experiences. And uh, now we are confident that we are on the right track. And I thank all the participants who have shared their energies every morning. Dr. Mahajan, Dr. Nita, Dr. Rajri, Dr. Sangeeta, Dr. Rajni, who have come every day. So, anybody would like to share something? Okay, so you do one thing. Uh, if possible, you just go through this mirror book and uh, the I'm just uh... So this is the book on exercises which we have created. If you click here, you will see that they, it opens a uh, YouTube video. And on every page, there is a YouTube video and along with that, the daily exercises. So, and but this book is in Hindi. So we don't have an English version at the moment, which we will, I think, create someday. And uh, you can use it all the day, till day 21, it is there. We will maybe do it uh, after some time. So, Uh, can we end it now? It's 7.35 and I think some of you are already on your way. 
थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू मैम फॉर ज्वाइनिंग आई मीन डॉक्टर मेधा वॉज रिसीव द लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड एंड शी डिलीवर्ड ऑरेशन ऑल्सो and in which she talked to her about her journey in medical education and it is a very very inspiring journey and uh, i'll be sh sharing the recording also i mean you will see how accomplished ma'am is and still very energetic thank I mean, you thank you sanjay thank you yes that. i mean you are an inspiration for all of us many things i didn't know about you but uh, amazing Thank you. 